J.C. Steel Target's National Rifle League match is an adrenaline junkie's dream come true. From running and gunning through fast-moving, challenging stages to shooting out of a helicopter. This is truly one of the most unique matches of the year, attracting world-class shooters from around the country. With this group, the competition is fierce, but always fun and friendly, making this my favorite shooting event of the year. Like your dream western hunt come true right here. Seen anything wild as you. Him and those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. To be in this moment right now is like Fantastic. pretty unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> About three years ago, we decided to start the National Rifle League for the simple fact that we wanted to provide another option for competitive shooters in the long range precision rifle game. Um, there's been a lot of different matches out there, a lot of different series, clubs, things of that nature, and they all did a phenomenal job. We just wanted to focus a little bit differently on sportsmanship and um, fun competitiveness where it wasn't so serious, but still a lot of fun. Shooter on! The JC Steel Target Challenge is a great match, and we're very uh, proud to put it on. We've had it uh, now for seven years. One of the cool things about the JC Steel Target Challenge is we have a lot of different courses of fire uh, that are super challenging for the shooters. Uh, this year we have brought back the helicopter for about the fourth or fifth time. People love the helicopter. 30 rounds per person was a, a, a really good treat for everybody. Third shot at X, fourth shot at L, any position, then move to three and just go all the way down to six. I'm holding it back. Left third quarter, three quarters on the first, eight, nine tenths on the farthest. Point, uh, point 0.5 left on the first is where I would be. Yep. So yeah. That, yeah, that's left. My internal debate for the stage is whether I'm going to dial or do holdovers or do hold unders. So the closer target is a much larger target, but uh, I hate to forego points on the target that should be theoretically easier to hit. Your time starts now. holding one two on that last one to hit. I could not get it. I kept moving out and moving out and moving out with my wind and. Whatever you hold on this end, you need a tenth more on that one is all. So what are you gonna hold on your first? I'm gonna hold 0 0.5 and 0.5. Although the match is an individual competition, the people that you squad with will always help each other work through the sequence of the stage. From prepping gear to wind holds, the squad functions as a team. And when one person succeeds, the entire squad succeeds. 
It seems like everybody in the precision rifle world just loves each other. You know, everybody wants to have fun, everybody wants to help each other and see each other succeed. One of the other aspects that differentiates the NRL from everybody else is we're really community driven. Uh, people are loaning gear out here and loaning tripods and bags. The precision rifle sport as a whole is a very friendly community, but we really go over and beyond. All of our matches have after hours activities. We have a dinner, we have games, we have friendly competitions. We really want to build lifelong friends. So community to us is paramount. did one, two, three, four. But I don't know if I'll make it to five, so if I do one. Okay, so we're at stage prep and you're already talking about not making it. <laughs> Have confidence. You're gonna make it through this. We just gotta figure out how. One, two, three, on either side. Tripod, tripod. Here, you could almost. Use a big put, poof. You'll, you'll be able to put it on here because you're shorter legs. You'll be able to rest that bus stock on your leg. knee. So use it for here, here, and ditch it for here and here. Top, top, here. There. Lowest to the ground. You have time? Finish it off here. Thank you. Hey, that, that bag's too tall. I was on my tippy toes. I couldn't reach. You could have done no bag up there. See how thick it is? Mm-hmm. It just took half your height out of it. Okay. Your tripod, every every shot on the last two stages. Where's Wobbly? Maybe not every shot, but at least 50% of them, your tripod leg, one of the legs is off the ground. Yep. Has three legs for a reason. Use them all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I did okay. For me personally, coming to these matches is my opportunity to improve. Watching other shooters run through stages, how they manage their gear, and navigate each position helps prepare you for the course of fire. Being open to the feedback from others that observe how you run a stage, the mistakes that you've made, will all help you to learn to build better, more efficient positions, ultimately improving your shooting ability and increasing your downrange hits. At the end, 
As a community, we celebrate each other's success, knowing the dedication to training that comes with earning a top win amongst some of the most talented shooters in the nation. It's even better when it's your friends taking home the trophy.